become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. How this wind can have or can generate any force on any pressure vessel or any structure. So what is the mechanism behind that? Because what will be uh, feeling or what will be <clears throat> seeing is the wind velocity that will be uh, coming on to any structure right so how that wind velocity will be converted in the form of wind force and how that force will generate the wind moment and then how that moment and forces will generate various stresses in the pressure vessel that is very important so let's start with how first this wind velocity will generate wind pressure right so you can see from this this is ground level you can see here the wind velocity is hardly 2 miles per hour and as we uh, keeps on increasing the height you can see here 5000 feet, 10,000 feet, 15,000 feet, 21,000 feet at such heights we can see that the aeroplanes are flying right 21,000, 15,000 feet so there the wind velocity can be 35 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour so you can see the wind force or wind velocity keeps on increasing as we are going at the higher elevations so the same can be evident from here you can see over here here are the shorter buildings and here there are the taller buildings so how it will have an effect upon wind speed as the increase in the height is observed the wind velocity also will be on the higher and higher side as per the increase in the elevation so at lower area or at the lower elevations, you can see that only uh, fewer, these two lines represent the fewer wind velocity. This will be more than this and these four lines can represent it. It will be far more than what is at the ground level. So you can see from here also as the height is keeps on increasing the wind velocity and we can say the wind force will be on the higher side. Wind loads will be on the higher sides at the higher elevations and those will be at the lower elevations are not having much of the magnitude. So, as per the geography and wind patterns, wind codes are different for different countries. The geographical pattern or the geography of every country is different. Uh, there are some hilly regions, there are some flat regions, there are some valleys. So it all depends upon the geography of that particular country. So the country code or the wind data for India may not be suitable for Mexico, may not be suitable for the countries in the Europe or may not be uh, suitable for the other countries. Uh, let's say Sri Lanka, which will be having sea all around its side, right? So there the wind pattern will be entirely different than that of India. So that's the reason why every country, every region having their own wind uh, calculation and the wind loads and the wind data rather we can say that has been generated over the years and that has been documented in the various forms of codes and those codes we have to use to deal with the equipment which will be placed on a particular site inside a particular country so depends upon this uh, you can see that there are n number of codes which will be available which represents in, uh, various countries like here we can see that ASNZ that represents Australia and New Zealand, ASC, that is American Society of Civil Engineers. So that represents uh, the code which will be there to be followed in USA. So there are various versions of uh, or the revisions of these codes are there. So the earlier versions also have been kept over here. So ASC 93, 95, 98, 2002, 5, IBC, that is International Building Code, ASC 2010, ASC 2016. So as per your requirement, you can choose the code from here and accordingly we will fill the data and the software will calculate <coughs> the wind forces moments and the effects of it on the support circle please do remember if there is no support then there will be no wind forces seismic forces will be calculated because ultimately the forces and moments will be transferred to this support zone so you can see brazil is there china is there china gb code is there europe 
यूरो कोर्स ई एन टू थाउजेंड एंड फाइव ई एन टू थाउजेंड एंड टेन आई बी सी इंटरनेशनल बिल्डिंग कोर्ट टू थाउजेंड सिक्स नाइन ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन एटीन आर एस दैट इज इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर वेंड इज एट सेवेंटी फाइव सो आई एस एट सेवेंटी फाइव इज द इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द विंड कोर्सेस और द लोड्स विच विल बी जनरेटेड बाय द विंड पार्ट थ्री एक्चुअली विल बी देयर फॉर द विंड लोड कैलकुलेशन देन जे पी आई दैट इज जैपनीज स्टैंडर्ड मैक्सिकन स्टैंडर्ड इफ देर इज नो विंड इफ दैट वेसल और द प्रेशर वेसल विल बी माउंटेड इन साइड सम बिल्डिंग सो देर विल बी नो इफेक्ट ऑफ द आउटसाइड विंड दैट वी नीड टू बी कंसिडर इन साइड सो देर वी कैन चूज नो विंड लोड सो देर विल बी नो कैलकुलेशन दैट विल बी परफॉर्म बेस्ड अपॉन द विंड एन बी सी दैट इज नेशनल बिल्डिंग कोड uh 95 2005 10 2015 so there are so many codes available so as per your site requirement we have to choose the correct code and according to that code whatever guidelines have been given whatever factors have been given whatever factors will be there in each and every code depends upon the region of that particular uh country it depends upon the wind flow velocity its study its geography that all things will come into the picture so the wind data will not be the same for none of the countries please do understand so as per your site requirement you have to choose the correct wind code and according to that wind code we have to calculate the various forces that will be coming on that particular pressure vessel so wind velocity to wind pressure calculation that is very very important so how this wind velocity can generate wind pressure and how that wind pressure we need to con uh, convert in the wind force and wind force to moment and then based upon that moment uh, how to calculate the stresses as we know stress is equal to m by z m is nothing but the moment so once we calculated moment we can easily calculate the stress but prior to that what is in our hand in our hand we'll be having the wind velocity in that particular region so first of all how to convert this wind velocity into the wind pressure so what are the guidelines given so this is a general engineering practice that's how we will be converting wind velocity in the wind force or wind pressure so wind is in motion it will be having a kinetic energy so how the kinetic energy will be calculated that is pz let's say uh, that is the wind pressure at elevation z which will be equal to Rho v square upon two, or we can say kinetic energy is half of m v square. In case of uh, wind, it will be rho representing the density, nothing but the part of weight it will be reflecting. So half into rho v square, that is the equation that will give us the P z, that is the wind pressure at elevation z. So what will be its unit? So let's understand first. Rho is nothing but the density of the wind or density of the air. Usually it is 1.226 kg per meter cube, but please do remember that the wind density will be different at a different temperatures and atmospheric conditions, atmospheric pressure. So this will be a factor. By and large, it is 1.226, but it can vary a little bit more or less depends upon the atmospheric condition as well. So if it is lower uh, the temperature, the wind uh, density will be on the higher side. if the temperature is higher the wind density will be on the lower side because it will expand right so the density will be on the lower side if it is at the higher temperature so it is a function of the atmospheric conditions as well but by and large for calculation we can consider it as 1.226 so let's put this value in the above equation so what will we getting so pz is equal to rho is nothing but 1.226 v square upon 2 so it will be giving us 0.613 v square rather not rho v square because rho has been already replaced so what we can say it will be having so what will be having is this 0.613 into v square rho will not be there because rho is nothing but 1.226 so 1.226 divided by 2 will be having 0.613 v square this is the equation by which we will be calculating this wind pressure so what will be the unit of this wind pressure so how this 1/2 rho v square will give us the pressure so let's put the values in so let's say we will be having the equation what the first equation is this right 1/2 into rho v square what is rho that is nothing but the density <clears throat> let's put the 
values of the units into this equation so what we will be getting rho is nothing but what kg per meter cube velocity meter per second and bracket square since it is v square so meter per second bracket square so <clears throat> this is equation number 2 now by newton's law force is equal to mass into acceleration let's put the values in force will be measured in newton weight is equal to mg weight is nothing but m into g acceleration will be in gravitational acceleration m is representing the mass so let's put the values in force will be in newton mass will be in kg and uh, the gravitational acceleration will be in meter per second square so what we can say kg per uh, kg meter per second square can be replaced by newton now putting this in this equation or we can rearrange this equation equation number two where, which is kg per meter cube <coughs> into meter per second bracket square so this meter cube can be uh, rewritten as meter into meter square meter per second bracket square can be represented as meter square as meter into meter and second square as it is so what will be kg meter per second square you can see over here meter meter is getting cancelled meter by meter square is there kg meter per second square you can see from this equation will be replaced by newton correct so this kg meter per second square can be replaced by newton newton per meter square newton per meter square is nothing but what newton per meter square will represent pascal kg per meter square will represent pascal so newton per meter square will represent as a unit of pascal so accordingly pascal is nothing but the pressure unit newton per meter square pascal is representing the pressure so that's how we have converted this wind velocity that is v square in the form of pressure right so if you will be having certain wind then that will generate certain pressure on that particular surface so that will be calculated as this 0.613 v square but this figure can change with reference to various wind codes depends upon their uh, atmospheric conditions right but by and large to understand uh, this is how it will be calculated